Our children are now in the junior grades. They have already learned many skills and are now finding new ways to understand and apply them. It's an exciting and challenging time. You could say that from kindergarten to grade three, students are learning to read. But when they reach grade four, the emphasis changes to reading to learn. From kindergarten to grade three, students learn many math fundamentals. Then in junior division, grades four to six, they apply what they have learned to larger numbers and different types of numbers. By the end of grade six, they have met decimals and fractions, begun algebra, probability, and are interpreting graphs. The number sentences of primary division have become equations and formulas. Students are also getting better at problem solving and explaining problem solving strategies. New ideas and new teaching methods seem to pop up every day in the junior grades. As a parent, we may feel we can't help our child with math as much as we used to. But don't worry, there are lots of ways to keep supporting our children. It is definitely okay if you aren't familiar with the kinds of math your child is doing. You don't have to be a math teacher. The main thing is to be available, to talk about math with your child, and to ask questions and listen to the answers. And remember, you can always speak with the teacher and members of the teaching team. If your child gets stuck on a math problem, it can be hard to resist the urge to give answers or do the homework for them. Ask questions that guide them to decide which tool is best and what the next step might be. Encourage children to explain what they are doing or how they have been taught to use a certain tool, especially if you haven't used it yourself. A multiplication chart is a great example of a math tool you can use to talk math together. It is a terrifically visual way to multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number. It works by breaking down the problem into smaller steps and breaking each number into tens and ones. On first glance, it might look complicated, but it's a fun and easy way to do multiplication together. Here's another tip. Don't forget about math textbooks. Textbooks aren't just a source of homework. They are also an excellent source of information, perfect for reading together at home. Textbooks are full of real-world examples, clear explanations, and colorful graphics all in one place. Here's a teacher-approved Mathemagic trick you can show your child at home. Behold the Mathamazing Multiplication Trick. Number your fingers from left to right as 1 to 10. 1, next is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 9 times 7. 9 times 7. Let your fingers find the answer. Hold down the finger that represents the number you want to multiply by 9. 9 times 7 means bend your 7th finger. The fingers to the left of the 7th finger represent units of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The fingers to the right of the 7th finger represent units of 1. 1, 2, 3. Grand finale, what is 9 times 7? 63. How do you do that? Tell me how you do that. Try every number from 1 to 9. Even if your child seems to be learning math in a different way than you did, don't worry and don't be discouraged. Teaching methods may change over time, but the basics of math stay the same. Giving your child extra one-on-one -on -one attention at home still really helps and is as important as ever.